Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Well, all war table operations have been completed. I've gotten all the patterns from the uh, Black Emporium. I've gotten all patterns from the Jaws of Hakon. So it is now time to fast forward two years to start the Exalted Council. So say goodbye to Skyhold. And the wall that never got patched. Probably added to the heating bill significantly. This may be the best DLC Bioware's ever done. It's right up there with Citadel. It is the best story DLC they've ever done, by far. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Olay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlay would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. And what made Pete so I'm glad I let the, the Winter Mages have his castle. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. Have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Since Corypheus fell, I think you may have spent more time traveling than I have. It keeps me out of trouble, Your Worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron Deschedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. You can probably just call her Cassandra in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. 
She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. Oh, with respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria says she is better suited to the battlefield than the sunburst throne, but she has restored the Chantry. And also people's faith in it. We are lucky to have her. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do, and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Ole. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Divinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us, and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize? To Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. That was the one strike against Mother Giselle. But she can admit when she was wrong. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have a chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council... Thoreldon would have the Inquisition disband. Ole sees its power as another feather in a Chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? You once told me about the first Inquisition that took place 800 years ago. You said that when their battle was over, that Inquisition soldiers sheathed their swords and went home. If our battle is truly over, perhaps it's time for us to do the same. That's before the Thank you. Of this DLC, of course. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. First things first is to uh, get rid of this ridiculous outfit. Will it matter? We'll be uh, same old. Speaking to uh, we'll be saving Dorian, Cassandra, and. Uh, Leliana's given a much more leeway to uh, agents, mainly Charter here and uh, Harding.
Bechtel's been busy in uh, their Dalish Archer. Well met, your worship. Everyone's been busy in the magisterium. And Vivian's been trying to get a new circle going. Hopefully a circle that is not as foolish as the previous one. Oh, well, they got rid of the Merida statue, huh? It's too bad. I can't barrack. Cassandra's clearly having fun, Miss Divine. But she's what was needed. So I gave her the job. Didn't realize the Winter Palace was so high. <laughs> Gotta come get all those for a uh, wicked weapon.
out to the black wall first for Tom Rainier. Fashionably late. I thought you weren't going to show. <laughs> I'm late, and you decide to make the Winter Palace rubble? Eh? Never liked it anyway. Too fancy. So tell me everything that happened while I was away. And after the betrayal, and what I put those men through, my sorries were worth about as much as shit. How many people hit you? I lost count at 12, but I could take a punch. They needed to know that there's a way to come back from anything. And I wanted to help them if I could. I thought going up there on the gallows was difficult. This was worse. A hundred times worse. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. No matter what, you know you can always count on my sword arm and my friendship. If that's your sword arm, I think I'm better off without it. Think you can do better. This should show the Inquisitor uh, soundly beating him with knife throwing. Which is a roguely art. anything for Spirit cool, a lot different from human cool. He's, uh, he's in a relationship with the bard. He's human cool. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Glimmering, glittering, perfect cut, mask, a maze of gemstones. She will think it pretty. Excuse me. I might, um... You're useful to have around, Cole. He wants stones the color of his eyes. Happy, bright, beaming, being seen, not seeing. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. Inquisitor, how good to see you here. I came to sit and pen another song. Sweet songs, poignant pain plants joy that grows later. She can't see me. I help her help people. I gathered. You're smart and kind. 
You're worthy of true love. Hello, Halam Sharab! The fire of Zitha must be fueled by wine, ideally shared with adoring fans. But not with him. You need somebody nice. Yes, better. He'll be gentle. So will you. You're with the Chargers, are you not? I've seen you in the Skyhold Tavern where I sing. Oh, yes. I, I love your songs. Sometimes I'd sit up on the chair to take a better look at your songs. The Chargers have their own song, if you'd like to hear it. Good. Nicely done, Cole. to be back all stuffed together with the pressure full on again don't worry herald of everywhere i came prepared i know what everyone needs some of these pranks seem a little mean just throwing pies but whatever they're a lesion just like best times I'm sure she determined who deserved it. But... I wish she could hit Tegan. With him. I expected a roof. It's early. Anyway, that was a good run. It's all been a good run. I needed that. And I need... You know it's ending, right? We can say it won't, but knobs in places like this. All they do is end things. They'll try a leash. Or worse. But maybe you aren't ready to quit just because some Lord Piddlebits is scared of us. Do I seem like I'm ready to retire? I'm tired. I've never done anything for years. Point is, sooner or sooner, all this changes. And you've helped me understand. Too much. So it's my turn to help you. See, I have these friends. And all of them were the wrong sort of whatever. Their place changed, or it never was. So together, we made an us. Everyone needs an us. And when the world is done saying no and calls you the wrong sort of whatever, maybe we can be that us for you. What do you think, Inquisitor? Want to run some rooftops as a Jenny? You want the Inquisitor? Don't I have a few more titles than your usual Jenny? No offense. Some taken. Pfft, words. Look, we don't want you. We want to be there for you. If you want to keep doing, it won't be nobles who help. It'll be friends. Well, all I have to say is... Call me... Red Frigging Jenny. Way too confusing. You'll get a city. One that rhymes with arse. Oh! I should have said we needed a we instead of an us, because... <laughs> Wait! Anus! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> to all my friends. Shouldn't I get Always asked and ever, Inquisitor. Mm. Always and ever. Sarah was never in the grid. Creepy song is creepy. Blah. Yep, there you have what she thought of that song. Castle Sutherland. That's 
pretty awesome. She has a relationship with Dagmar. Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. Wait, what? It's for his birthday. Did Kanari even have birthdays? All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. You can also, if you have, uh, if you have Tempest as your specialization, that's a pretty good one. Do you think news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. It's good to see that the veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. It's fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during Orlesian unification under the reign of Mafrath's son, Isarath. Uh huh. Did you know that Ferelden has its own names for lords? The country is divided into Tairnirs, governed by Tairns. Inside those are cities and Arlings ruled by Arls, and then there's the Banorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. <sighs> Good to know. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now, right? Ben Hasrat, remember. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Let's talk to Josephine next and uh, Just what you need. get a dose of Orlesian theater. Watch your tongue. Ah, make her. Had uh, 
the first first enchanter or the first grand enchanter um, roll set for Telana. It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Then why can I still see those wheels turning in your head? <sighs> Work carries a certain momentum. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orle, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. I do wish you'd warned me the game would take more work after Halam Shiral. <laughs> it's strange. Those were somehow simpler times. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Why not? Josephine, I put myself in your capable hands. We found several Blended. codex entries I will arrange things this. at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! Was the woman in gold playing a king? Who was the man in feathers? Oh, it's all very simple. The first actor's mask is determined by... Uh, well, I will lend you the program guide. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? That was... one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Truly. That part with the glittery... and they actually set fire to... <laughs> yes, I truly enjoyed it. Then I call tonight a great success. Oh, look! The encore signal! Compendium of... Or Legion Theater. That's what I was referring to.
there's another dog bone I need to get down here. How does Varric find time to write all these books? Is, uh... Prolific author. Won't be bothering with that on this playthrough. So deal with that. Should be noted, this is my first playthrough of Trespasser where it wasn't um, glitched to uh, say I had uh, put Gaspard into power. I mean, who did that? How many people? I don't know. since so many gathered in this place. Those Ferelders, always afraid to mingle. Let's have a chat with Varric. Seneschal Braun is uh, years of not being kind to him. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the captain of the city guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor! Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you! Are you in some kind of trouble? What's happened this time? So suspicious. I'll have you know I've never been convicted of anything. Officially. Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount... Provisional Viscount. ...of Kirkwall. So why is he here with messages from the Merchant's Guild? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. 
you're the Viscount of Kirkwall now. Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. But what if the previous Viscount comes back and uh, seeks to reclaim power? Will he, uh, will he cede it? I think he would. That's fantastic. You'll make an excellent Viscount. I think the nobility figured, after Dumar and Perrin, what's the worst that could happen if we put the dwarf in charge? They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a Comtesse now. You can't actually do that without... Too late. Already did it. You should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice. For Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> I, bet, I bet he gave me Bartrand's estate. This is possibly too much, Varric. I don't know what to say. That's nothing. Practically nothing. Don't mention it. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the Council and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. This operates those giant chains. Can I try it? No. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. And we'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time. I'll be here if you need me. Will you walk with me? The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. Everything changes. People, most of all. Yes. Now all I can see are the knives in the shadows, the poison in jeweled goblets. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. Anyone with their wits should fear us. We command more people than some countries. It is not our secrets, nor our soldiers. There have always been spy masters in private armies. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. When the time comes, consider giving them what they want. What? You're not serious. They cannot act against what they cannot see. 
Publicly, I will of course retire from this life, as one would expect. Let them think they've finally won. I shall take up charity work, become a patron of the arts, as all respectable women of my age do. And perhaps take on a protégé. Our work never ends, Inquisitor. We just need fewer witnesses. Ruthless uh, Liliana that I created. This doesn't count as the uh, sound of the Here's this jerk RLT. Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? Not at all. The Earl of Redcliffe was telling me of events in Denarin. He represents Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? We still come across scars left by the Venatori, but the land continues to mend. I had hoped to steal a moment of the Divine's time. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. I am supposed to be impartial while speaking for the Chantry, but I confess that neutrality is beyond me. I may be the Divine, but I will always be your friend. And I can hardly ignore the fate of the Inquisition that I began. When world powers want to discuss plans for the future, I get nervous. I share your concern. The Inquisition is still needed. Some delegates do not yet understand that. I must attend to other matters. If you need me, I am ready to assist. Unconditionally. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. I appreciate knowing where Ferelden stands. You are owed that, Inquisitor, especially here. These Orlesians will talk circles around you before you get a simple greeting out. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. Oh, the warden needs to finish her hunt for the uh, cure for the calling. Put things back in order. Put Tegan in his place. Orle is on your side, Lord Parvis. The Inquisition's support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. It's good to see you, my friend. Thrilled to be at the Exalted Council, Lord Parvis. Oh, riveted. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. A reward for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. Inquisitor. Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. 
Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. The Inquisition's grown. It would be shocking if they didn't find us a threat. Yet you've started no major wars. The Inquisition is a very considerate rival. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is a good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. Yep, Dorian is to the Inquisitor what Varric is to Hawk. Mountain in my honor. Last of my dog bones is up here. Okay, now it's uh, time for a spa day to be in. <laughs> and I don't understand how the cheese wheels work. Darling, you made it. Excellent. I shared your disappointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Of course it is, darling. That's the only kind I have. What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. <laughs> Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. How are things with our dear Commander Cullen? Things are excellent. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to hear it. You've done so much, darling. You deserve to be happy. <laughs> How do you think the conference will end? What do you think they'll decide? It's all foolish posturing. The nations of Thedas know they can only politely ask the Inquisition to be on its way. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. And we'll be back shortly to talk to Dorian, Cullen, Cassandra, and Stephanie Cullen.